those who have gone totally away from God, totally away from God. The people of the world are the ones who have chosen to live their way, not any other way. They chose to be the way they want to be. You see, the problem is when you do things or you become worldly, totally worldly, everything you think of is materialistic, worldly, everything you do, every step you make, every thing, every, every word you say, every thought you have, it is all about, I want to dress up, I want to have a car, I want to have a home, I want this, I want that. People who live in the world, for the world, when they hear the word of God, it suffocates them like that blood that is dead. It suffocates them. The moment they hear something about Jesus, they find an excuse to pack up and leave. Like, imagine you're sitting with a group of people, maybe friends, relatives. When you're talking about the world, everyone is alert, is awake and engaging. Talking about good things. Why do you have to bring God into it? Leave him alone. We are not ready for him because if we go to him, we need to give up on all of these things which we love, which we live for. So it is suffocating. His words to us is suffocation. Therefore, I want to live free. I don't want God to come and say, this is right and this is wrong. Do this. Don't do this. Go there. Don't come there. I don't want that. I want to be my own God. These are the people of the world. They are gods of their own.